Let's welcome the director, Colton Lee. Uh, my name's Colton Lee. I'm a film writer and director, and I've just released my second feature film, Freestyle. I liked um, the kind of story, the milieu of the story, and being a former basketball player myself, I like the fact there was basketball in there. You don't often see British films. In fact, I've never seen a British film with basketball in it. I think for you know, writing and film students, hearing or getting a sense of what £100,000 can buy you um, was probably quite a useful experience for them. How did you get the job writing freestanders? How did your writing skills develop during that time? They were, they were good questions. I mean, I think when you're not in the industry, it always feels slightly daunting, you know, breaking into the film industry. And I think sometimes it's good to demystify that process for people who are that, at that stage in their career. But actually, there's so, uh, there is so much good equipment at this university. Um, if you can master, not even master, but if you can begin to master the art of storytelling uh, in terms of film, there's a lot of equipment here that you can get your hands on that will enable you to tell your stories in a way, get them out on the festival circuit, and actually the industry will find you. People are always, the industry is always looking for new voices, new talent coming through. And as I was saying to the students, when you're at this stage in your career, you know, you are potentially very hot because you're a new voice coming through, and that's what the agents and the industry are looking for. I mean, the good thing about where you are is that the industry, whether it's film or TV, is always looking for new talent. You know, you are your hottest when you're coming out of uh, an institution like this or you're coming out of film school. I feed off the energy of, of from, from young people, from new voices, from that kind of, that sort of keenness and, and real sort of aspiration to break through. I sort of, I sort of take energy, if you like, from that. So I kind of enjoy doing this kind of thing. And then from there, I sort of started working in television. I used to write for EastEnders. Uh, Biker Grove, Quinty, you're too young to remember Biker Grove, I suspect you would remember, maybe. Um, yes, yes. I think the facilities are fantastic here. I mean, like I say, I do a bit of lecturing myself, and I don't lecture anywhere that has anything as impressive as this. I mean, um, you know, if I'd been here when I was a student, you know, there's all sorts of opportunities, I think, here with the, with the, the resources you've got, the viewing theatres, the cameras that Bill has been telling me about, the editing facilities. I think this is a fantastic facility for anyone trying to, you know, learn the mechanics of TV and film production and who wants to sort of springboard from that into the industry. This is a fantastic start. What other projects have you got coming up? Have you got anything else in the uh, I've got a couple of things I'm working on. One is I'm adapting a book to a screenplay. It's called, the book is called East of Acre Lane. The film will be called Brixton 81. It's a family drama and it's set in Brixton in 1981, so just sort of during the lead up to the Brixton riots. And I've got another script called First Love. The script is already written. It's a revenge thriller. And it's now just doing the rounds with the industry, different production companies, Channel 4. I've had a meeting with Working Title last week to see if we can get that one moving. And I think sometimes it takes people to, um, to take a chance and tell a different type of story. And then the industry catches up. And so I think with a film like this, um, but this wouldn't have been made if, if Kid Up hadn't been made. So I think the industry is changing, but it's, it's taking a bit of time. I would say to master the mechanics of storytelling, because filmmaking, as far as I'm concerned, is all about the script. If you can get a good script, um, there'll always be interested people in your work. And it doesn't cost any money at all to write a decent film script. You know, listen to what Burl and some of the other tutors are saying about the mechanics of script writing, because you know the industry is all based on scripts, and that that was my way into the industry and I think um, you know if you don't have the connections that can be anybody's way into the industry. So thank you very much. Colton. Uh, yeah, if I get if when I get my next film moving, if uh, if Bill wants to invite me back, um, yeah, come back like a shot. <laughs>